Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some of Dr. Now's most savage moments on my 600-pound life. We're just cutting right through all the BS with this episode, getting right down to the juicy parts. We've seen people rolling around in cornstarch and deep frying and all this other type of stuff, but we haven't seen Dr. Now Zara Dan go in on somebody. By the way, I'm sorry if I mispronounce that, Dr. Now! Did you know that I have a second channel where I release content that is not related to fat acceptance? It's called Cynical Reacts. I recently released my third video on that channel about a woman who caused a car accident and then she started clucking like a chicken and going completely insane. Here's a link to that. Be sure to check that out and subscribe to that channel for more content like that in the future. Before we proceed, please click the like button so that I may apply comb to mustache. And actually, with the eating habits, I've been doing really, really well. So I don't know other than the fact that I'm putting on water. Putting on water. It's funny when people say they put on water weight. How much water you been drinking, bro? You say you gain 60 pounds of water on a car ride here. What? You gain 60 pounds of water on the car ride here, you said? Because you're sitting up. That because you're sitting up? What? <laughs> <laughs> when he said, because you're sitting up, all of a sudden she started looking to the side. She's like, hold on. Because you're sitting up? That's Look, she blinked to the side. She was looking this way. He's like, you gained 60 pounds of water weight on the car right here because you were sitting up? And then she's just like. That's not reality. That's not reality. You gained 60 pounds of water weight because you were sitting up? So if you were to lay down, um, you would lose 60 pounds? I did not know we could do that. Okay, I'm learning a lot about physics. Honestly, I, I really, I, I don't know what else I can tell you. <laughs> I don't know what else I can tell you. It's because I sat up and gained 60 pounds of water weight. You never heard of this phenomenon, doctor? Now, what do you mean? But it's the truth. It's the truth. I violated the laws of physics back there. By the way, the video that I'm reacting to was made by a channel called Plot Twist. I've linked their original video below. You should check it out and go give them a subscription because they make a lot of great My 600 Pound Life content. Very dizzy and I think I'm having a heart attack. Oh my gosh. Okay, he's just watching her have a heart attack. He's like, huh, this is weird. He's like, he's just like looking at her like, what the heck? You don't look like you are. You don't look like you are, he said? <gasps> Now you do. Now you do. What? She says, I'm having a heart attack. And she's sitting up and he's like, you don't look like you are. And then she leans over a little bit and he's like, now you do. Okay. So when I start to lean over, now I look more like I'm having a heart attack. Now you'll take me seriously, doctor. Now when I said that my heart just stopped beating, <laughs> you're like, hey, by the way, my heart stopped beating a little bit back there. Um, we see that Benji has made a ton of progress since his episode with David in season six. He's lost over 300 pounds from his starting weight, but an appointment with Dr. Now reveals he's gained 27 pounds over the last few months. Uh-oh, uh-oh. How are you today? I'm doing good. You sure about that, Benji? Because over the last few months, you gained 27 pounds. Oh, you got called out by Dr. Now. You sure you're doing okay? Because you gained 27 pounds. Maybe he was also sitting up in the car and therefore gained some water weight, um, like that last person. So, you're stacking a lot? So you're trying to tell me that almost 30 pounds just magically appeared on your body. Dude, Dr. Now has a golden stethoscope. Um, he didn't get that from dealing with people's lives, okay? What? That doesn't make any sense, does it? No. Dude, don't make Dr. Now wrap his golden stethoscope around your throat, okay? Let's see, it looks like you've gained quite a bit of weight. You haven't been sticking to the diet that I've been recommending for you, have you? Okay. Let me just go ahead and get your vitals real quick. Just wrap this stethoscope around your... Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be just fine. <laughs> He's just taking a nap. <laughs> Don't worry, stethoscopey. He can't hurt you now. We've claimed another victim, stethoscope. Nothing is as good at choking somebody out as a stethoscope. That's what all my years of doctoring have taught me. <laughs> doctoring. <laughs> no, I've been stressing some because of some things, but partly because my excess skin is making me struggle. So that's been discouraging. Your excess skin is making you struggle, and that's been discouraging. So you gained 27 pounds. I get it, man. It's the stress. You were stress eating, probably. 
has time for you to start psychotherapy to help you deal with that. I think skin removal will help me more. You know, isn't that crazy that you have to have skin removal, dude? Like, it'll just chill there forever. Like, it'll just be hanging off of you forever if you don't get it removed. That sucks. I bet that that would be really annoying, dude. That would really suck. You lose all this weight, and then you, you still look, like, all messed up because you have all this excess skin. So, yeah, you definitely want to get that removed. But Dr. Now is saying that you should have had psychotherapy. Like, you're gaining more weight because you have some mental issues happening right here. The skin removal is not going to help you as much as the psychotherapy. I agree with Dr. Now. We need to tackle the issues up here before we try to deal with this stuff down here. Otherwise, this stuff down here is just going to balloon back up at some point. You're only going to lose weight for so long before you start putting it back on if you don't deal with the mental problems that caused you to gain the weight to begin with. Worried about your weight gain and you think what you need right now is skin removal. Yeah. Do you have a medical degree I don't know about? <laughs> Um, <laughs> look at the look on his face. What are you going to say to that? The doctor and I was like, you got a medical degree? Because I spent eight years in medical school myself. Uh, I don't know how many years you spent. He's like, um, actually, I did go to medical school, doctor. Now, I didn't want to bring it up. You seemed pretty adamant when you were grandstanding um, there. So I didn't want to interrupt you. But I actually did go to medical school, doctor. Now, and then he's just like, what? And he starts choking you with the stethoscope again. It sounds like... <laughs> Hold on, hold on. When he asked him how long he went to medical school, there was this long ass pause. Hold on. Do you have a medical degree I don't know about? It sounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. Do you have a medical degree that I don't know about? <laughs> That's what I thought. Bitch. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Is Dr. Now gonna have to choke a bit? Oh, don't make Dr. Now get crazy. When he starts flossing the stethoscope, dude, you know it's about to get crazy. He's like, what? Mm, seems to me like you're lying. I don't know if I believe you. When you're just like, oh my God. Like you're getting too overconfident and that's a bad recipe right now. You need psychotherapy, not skin removal. Dr. Now is correct. Shauna loses her copy of the diet plan multiple times in her episode. She lost her copy of the diet plan? <laughs> is that her excuse? I love that. I would have lost weight, but I lost your weight loss book, dude. I was like, where did this thing go? It's somewhere in this house. I don't know. And she always waits until the last second to tell Dr. Now that's the reason she's been failing to eat properly. What? That's your excuse? and making zero progress. He continues to give her new copies, but- Email it to her, okay? Her fourth appointment, she's lost it yet again. Doctor now reminds her that this is literally- If you lost weight as easily as you lost his weight loss meal plan, we wouldn't be in this situation. Did it do? Sorry. Literally the fourth time and- Dude, you lost it four times. Stop it. You stop it right now asks if she needs another copy of the exercises too. Dude, I would have exercised and ate right, but I lost the book. You show me how to exercise. <laughs> <sighs> Doctor now has had enough excuses too. Here's a clip. So do you feel psychotherapy help you at home? He tells everybody to go to psychotherapy. Is that better than regular therapy? I'm fairly psychotic. I don't know if that's the right therapy for me or not. Um. Yeah, I guess. You get <laughs> what? So, do you feel psychotherapy help you at home? Um, yeah, I guess. That's a no. That's a no. It didn't help her at all. You guess? Yeah. Then why do you think you did worse this time than last time? Do you still have the diet or did you lose it again? Honestly, I lost it again. Dude, this girl doesn't give a dang. I can tell by her attitude. She keeps losing the diet plan. I guess psychotherapy was helpful. Like, you are literally forcing her. I can tell that this person doesn't give a damn about losing weight at all. I would not be shocked to learn that she didn't lose any weight. She lost the meal plan. She's like, oh, I guess it's psychotherapy. She, like, is not taking any of this seriously at all. It's almost like she's being forced to be here, even though she's the one that needs this help. That's what's bizarre to me. She seems like she was court-ordered to be in a rehab program. She's got that mentality, right? She's like... I guess, like, you chose to come to him to help you change your life. Uh, maybe you should be a little more grateful, and maybe you should put in a little bit more effort. 
I don't know, man. I'm just a guy with a microphone. What do I know? Are you serious? Yes, sir. So we need to give you another copy? Could you? What about... This old man is infinitely patient. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow. Good exercises. So you need another copy of those, too? Yes, sir. All right, he didn't even start tearing into her. He was just like, do you need it again? Honestly, I feel like that kind of works. He's going that route of like, you're disappointed, like dad or grandpa or something when they like, don't yell at you, but they're just like, okay, I'm very disappointed in you. And you're just like, oh man, that's way worse than if you just yelled at me. At Ashley T's first appointment, she only weighs in at 486 pounds. What? Her first appointment, she only weighs 486? Why is she on this show? What are you doing, you thin mint? You skinny mini, get out of here. Though, she claims she last weighed in at over 600. She tells Dr. Now she lost the weight due to a depressive period, and he becomes suspicious since it's something he doesn't normally see. So she lost a significant amount of weight due to depression, she said? Is that code word for drugs? When he asks what she does all day, Ashley says she watches TV and talks to her friends on social media before bursting out laughing and clarifying that she also engages in catfishing. Catfishing is one of her hobbies, pretending to be other people online to screw with people or whatever. Okay. You know, often on that show Catfish, when they would show up at the person's house who was the catfish, they would turn out to be a larger person. I'm just saying, I notice stuff. I notice that sometimes people that are in whatever kind of physique are very bitter towards the world and they're lashing out and trying to hurt everyone all the time. Don't do that. Don't do that. Take care of yourself so that you can also take care of the world. Whatever that means. That didn't even make any sense. Whatever. Just shut up. Point, you might recognize her from the MTV show Catfish. If you She was on the show! What? Hadn't already. Near the end of the appointment. Alright, man. I want you to lose weight because I'm obligated to want the best for everyone. But why? Why are you catfishing people? Don't do that. Appointment. Dr. Now points out that she's been avoiding eye contact for basically the entire time. He's like, are you Stephanie that's been talking to me online and sending me all those nudes? <gasps> that was you! That's why she won't make eye contact with him. He's like, you know, I've been talking to a new girl online. She is very beautiful. She talks in a similar manner to you. It's very strange. <laughs> and then she just stops making eye contact like... Oh yeah? That, that's that's interesting. <laughs> oh, the twists and turns of this show. It just gets juicier and juicier. And straight up asks her if it's because she's a pathological liar. Yes, it is because she's a pathological liar. If you catfish people, you're a pathological liar. I've known a guy that was a pathological liar. It was the most annoying, stupid condition, if you want to call it that, that I've ever witnessed. It was stupid. He would lie about stuff that was easily verifiable to be false. So it's really just like you enjoy making yourself look really stupid and losing the respect of everybody around you. That's what it means to be a pathological liar. Their lies are never believable and they're never good. I can't stand liars, dude. It's just like, it's almost like you're too pathetic and cowardly to be yourself, right? Okay, so what do you do more stuff of the day? Nothing, watch TV. And I do social media stuff, like I be talking to my friends. On social media. So you sit around all day eating and catfishing people on social media. Talking to your friends? Um, yes. <laughs> Yes, sir. And that's it? Yes, sir. Hmm, okay. All right, I'm guessing the producers knew about this and they told him to probe further. You're laughing about it. So, what else is going on? He clearly knows, dude. He's like, what else, uh, what else is going on there? Um, with this online business, if you wouldn't mind elaborating. <laughs> like, shut up, doctor. Now you know what's going on. Clearly you know what's going on. These are baited questions, guy. Let's see, according to my notes, you like to do a lot of things on social media. You like to have a lot of conversations. Hmm, yes. No, stop. I don't know. Um, the catfishing. We should stop doing that. That would be cool. That'd be pretty cool if you would stop. For most of what you have said, the entire time you're here, you never made the eye contact with me. Just so. You never made eye contact with him and he's calling you out for it, so now you should make uncomfortable eye contact, right? You're like, oh, you want me to make eye contact, huh? Okay. 
Well, so basically I've been struggling a lot with my weight and um, uh, all the psychotherapy doesn't seem to be helping. I'm not gonna blink either. So I hope that doesn't make you uncomfortable. But since you like eye contact, um, yeah, I've really been struggling with my weight. And um, you know, all of the stuff that you've been recommending to help, it hasn't really been helping, if I'm being real with you. Um, all the psychotherapy hasn't really been helping and I've been spending most of my days on social media, hanging out with my friends, Dr. Now. You said you wanted eye contact. Why are you being weird now? Is, 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 it getting, is this too much eye contact for you, Dr. Now? Huh? It's not weird. You're making it weird. Oh, sorry, dude. I'm getting weird as shit. I can't stop staring into this now. I don't think I've blinked once. And I don't think I'm ever gonna blink again, if I'm being real with you. I think I'm over it. I had my last blink a couple minutes ago. Sorry, this is just who I am now. I think I blinked right there. Um, is that because you're a pathological liar or what? Oh! <laughs> Boom! Is that because you're a pathological liar or what? Now, a pathological liar would respond to this with a lie. <laughs> they would say, No, I am not a pathological liar. Thus proving their pathologicalness. After he asked her if she's a pathological liar, I'm sure they edited it this way, but it just showed her like this, like. <laughs> At Anjanette's first appointment, she's pretty shocked and upset to learn that she weighs 679 pounds at 5'1". Oh my gosh, 679 pounds at 5'1". Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'll try to contain myself. You're as wide as you are tall. I'm sorry. That's not nice. I'm sorry. It's probably fairly accurate. Five feet. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to do the math on that. Math can be very hurtful when we start doing it. Um, so <laughs> I don't think we need to do the math on that. Giving her one of the highest BMIs Dr. Now has ever seen. That's crazy, bro. At 5'1", you weigh 679? Woo! If you weigh that much and you're watching this, you can turn your life around, dude. You can do it. I am not watching this to discourage anybody from losing weight. Quite the opposite, actually. If you are overweight, even if up to this size, you can do it. It doesn't matter if it looks like it's really difficult and you have a long journey ahead of you. Because the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So take that step today, keep your head down and just keep moving forward. Don't look at the end goal and think of how difficult it is. Just keep your head down and keep moving forward and keep pushing towards your goal. You got this. She has extremely limited mobility and just walking short distances leaves her out of breath. When it I am not shocked. comes to discussing her diet and challenges with her eating habits, she points out her lack of mobility as the main reason. Yeah, you can't do a lot of exercising if you are this size, that's true. I would adjust my diet and try to get some of this weight off or do some like upper body exercises. This, um, don't take that out of context, please, which you obviously will. So, <laughs> but Dr. Now is not having that excuse at all and asks if it's really much harder to walk to a salad than it is to a pizza. Don't be bringing logic into this, Dr. Now. The only factor here, you don't have much longer to live. Likely less than a year if nothing changes. So what's him? You have less than a year to live if nothing changes? Oh my gosh, he's getting serious. To be challenges with your eating habit. My biggest challenge is my mobility is, is hard. He just said eating habits, so your mobility shouldn't come into play with the eating habits. For me to stand a lot, so I usually just grab whatever's quick and easy. Quick and easy. What? Okay, so your mobility problem is causing you to eat improperly too, because you just grab what's quick and easy. Okay, that's why Dr. Now said a moment ago, it's just as easy to walk to a salad as it is to walk to a pizza. Okay, I understand the wisdom in the man's words now. Come on, seriously? You're telling me if you were able to move, you would eat better? Yeah, what? That's what it sounds like you're I'm sure that people are bringing you food to begin with, so just have them bring you healthier food. She knows what she's done. That's why she's looking off to the side with this look on her face. She knows exactly what happened. She's playing games. She's playing games in Dr. Now's face. Saying that walking to a salad is harder than walking to a pizza. <laughs>
And that's about all we have time for today. What was your favorite scene? My favorite part was when that woman gained 60 pounds of water weight by sitting up in the car. Um, that's an interesting phenomenon that I was unfamiliar with up until this point. So thank you for teaching me a little bit about physics and biology. I didn't know. I am just a student in this classroom called life. I recently started channel memberships. For $5 a month, you'll get a badge, access to custom emojis, as well as top priority in my comment replies. If you're interested in such a thing, a join button is below. Happy Tuesday, everybody. Please click the like button. One like equals one mustache coming. Anyway, that about does it. Thanks for watching, commenting, liking, and subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one.